guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today, I wanted to talk about a topic that's often misunderstood. So have you ever heard someone or even a family member say, why would you watch someone play video games? Can't you just play those games yourself? Why would you even waste your time doing that? Well today, I wanted to jump into it, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So watching streamers doesn't make you a gamer. So let's just go ahead and talk about what's often misunderstood with that topic. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you never miss out as I'm constantly uploading on this channel. So we are all gamers here. Who has essentially watched someone stream a video game rather than even playing it yourself? Or even if you played that game before, who has actually watched streamers? So I am guilty of that myself. I have definitely watched people stream video games and I'll go ahead and tell you some of the reasons why. So oftentimes, when you just have a little bit of time to yourself, you may find yourself wanting to watch someone stream a video game. And a lot of the times people do that because it's enjoyable. You know, you just enjoy watching someone and their reactions to a certain game, or you even want to support some of your friends who do this. We all know someone, or at least a lot of people know, of certain people who stream and play video games or even make video content. So with all of that rapidly growing in the entire world, essentially, you know, you just want to support your buddies, you want to have a good time, you just want to relax, you want to have fun watching these people play these games, and you kind of see how they do things a little bit differently than you might, and they may even be very entertaining. Some of them actually set together a certain script before they go ahead and stream a video game. So some of them with their friends playing as well, they're just quite enjoyable and they're definitely entertaining for several hours on end. So how is this any different than someone actually watching sports on television? So I've been to so many different types of games over the years. I used to play sports as well and I enjoy watching sports games. Now, how is that essentially different than someone who plays games and you watch them stream it? There are such a thing as esports, there's tons of competitions, there's just people out there who use their set of skills to go ahead and compete and do this whole entire like tournament competition. So how is that any different? Now we could get into all the specifics on, you know, the different types of skills and the money aspect and the stadiums and everything else. We could jump into that, but essentially the concept is very much the same. So you can watch someone play sports. You're not playing those sports. You're not on their team or you can watch someone play video games. You know, you're not on their team. You're not playing the games with them. It's essentially the same concept. So why is one, you know, different than the other? Why is there this entire misconception out there? And why do people put judgment on that? Because the way that technology is advancing, this is the future. This is where we are headed. This is something different than a much, much, you know, different time ago long time ago. So this is essentially where things are moving towards. If you would have asked people about this, you know, even 30 years ago, they would have thought that you were crazy essentially. But here we are moving and advancing and this seems to be something that is getting more widely known out there. Now another reason why people actually watch people who stream the video games is because they're curious about how the game actually plays. So with there being like millions of games out there, you know, across every single different video game system and there are so many that people just don't even know about. I'm constantly learning about different ones as I, you know, move through my entire collection and while I'm out and about at stores. Sometimes I will watch a little bit of gameplay or watch some sort of review or something just to see if that's a game that I'm interested in or if something, you know, catches my attention. Something that I want to see if I want to, you know, spend my time playing or if it's more something that I just collect and maybe someone else will get to enjoy it at a later time. So people tend to watch streamers so that they can see if they are interested in it. You know, you want to do that research before you go out there and buy something. You don't want to just 
waste 60 70 dollars on a new game if you haven't seen any gameplay you haven't looked up what the game's about you haven't seen the mechanics or anything else we all know that there are some bad games still to this day that come out you know they have tons of bugs in it it's just not enjoyable i have several times where i've put a game disc in brand new and it doesn't essentially work so you know if you do your research on certain things you might be able to stop some of that and wait for certain games to go on deals. So that's another reason why people watch those streams. And then sometimes people do it because they don't essentially have money to buy every single game that comes out. So you may just play some of the ones that you really, really want and that you can afford. And then you want to, you know, watch some of the ones that maybe you were thinking about playing at some point, or maybe you're not really too interested in it. So you don't want to spend the money, but you still want to watch the gameplay of someone actually streaming that and it is enjoyable at the same time so it's kind of like a win-win on every single way that you look at it but you still have a good bit of the majority of people who just don't simply understand it you're always going to have more sports fans out there than essentially gamers and you're always going to have people always comparing their hobby versus other people's hobbies but essentially this is often a misunderstood you know whole entire concept here so what do you guys think about this topic do you think that gamers often are misunderstood do you think that people you know can compare this on the same level as sports or do you think just the concept is there i just want to know what you guys think about this and where you guys kind of lay on this whole entire misconception or this entire hobby also have you guys heard anyone talk about this have you heard people question why you would even watch a video game in the first place why don't you just play them i know i hear that all the time so i just wanted to see what you guys thought about this so of course leave some comments below and thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more